What's up everyone? Welcome back to this channel. My name is Dominic Barbado and I'm super excited for you guys to be here. As you see behind me, I got some honor boxes and I got some, you know, chips and stuff over here from my vending machines. But today I want to talk about these honor boxes right here. I do talk about them a lot on my channel, but I don't talk about really the specifics of it. And I think I just want to do a quick video. What they are, can you really make money? Do you offer a commission to businesses? Stuff like that. So we're gonna go over everything A to Z with honor boxes, even if you need to get permits for these, because in some states you even have to pay for crazy permits, which makes this business not worth it. So in this video, we're going over all that stuff, everything honor box related. Can you make money with it really in the long term? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Stay tuned to the very end, because we're also gonna be giving away a book we're giving away books at the end of every single video so i will have that book at the end for you guys if you want to enter that all you got to do is just comment down below you want the book and something that you learned from this video but let's hop right into this video honor boxes can you really make money with them answer is yes you can make money with honor boxes it really just depends on you and your preferences with making money um, but you can make money with them. It's not easy, I'll be completely honest. There's a con of it is it doesn't hold much capacity. Um, some boxes you can get up to 70, and these you can also fit more on the sides and stuff, but I just run 42 boxes. Um, I put them on location. It really does depend though. Um, some locations will go through 42 pops in two days. Some will go through it in a week. Some will take two weeks. So you just have to monitor it. But the biggest thing with these, they do take more time than bulk vending. If you've looked into bulk vending or full line, this would be more like a full line location. You're not making as much as a full line, but you have to go pretty much every single week, check on your box, make sure it doesn't need to be swapped out. And the time that this takes is in between bulk vending and full line vending. It's pretty quick relatively if you have them ready like this, which I have them just packed out. So now I'll go to all these locations. I'll run in, take the empty box, swap out a full box. And obviously you guys get the concept there, but it makes it a lot easier. So these, they're not easy. I'm not gonna say that they're the best passive income model, but if you were to get, 10 or 20 of these, place them when you get them and have them on location. You're gonna one, do very good raising money and raising awareness to people that are hungry with the charity that you're gonna work with. But two, you're also going to make a good amount of money because depending on if you donate 20, 30 or 40%, these boxes can still make between 15 and $30 a month. I don't guarantee that, disclaimer down below. Can't guarantee an amount, but these can make between 15 and 30 bucks a month um, for you know, maybe an hour a month it'll take for one box if you're servicing it every week. I don't know, maybe a little less if you have it close to you. That's my other suggestion. Build your route very tight. Um, but that's pretty much it in what I'm talking with these. I think there's also a big con with um, essentially placing them, the sustainability of the locations. I'm realizing, honestly, with these boxes, they can get kicked out a lot easier than if you were to put a full line or bulk machine. People are more hesitant to that because they kind of put a home there. But with these, you're putting them on a countertop, you're putting it somewhere where if a business grows or they need the space, you're kind of in the way. So the sustainability of placing a box at a business, I'm noticing is rather low compared to bulk and full line, and that's the absolute truth there. So yes, getting locations is so easy, like unbelievably easy. And on a tangent from that, um, getting yes is as easy and it boosts your confidence to get other locations but yes they're easy to get and you can place a crap load of these in a single day but the turnover on those the next week or the next month or two months or three months can be pretty high some locations you know don't really know if they actually like them so they try them out and then they don't end up liking it or they need the space so that's a big thing the turnover with these boxes is you have to be aware of that um, I'd say another con obviously is, is it's not completely residual income you don't place these once and then just make money you do have to go back to them but the biggest like pro of this business is if you have four hundred dollars and you want to start a vending business tomorrow you can buy a crap load of these boxes make your money back in the first two three four months let's say which is unbelievably beyond the average business because the average business only makes their money back in three years in vending you make your money back in the first year if you have it on a good location whether it be bulk full line or honor boxes so that's the awesome part about this business even the boxes is you can make your investment back within that first year probably within less than six months of buying your boxes which is crazy for me to believe because that's awesome like honestly anyone could start a business and make money the first year and then start using that money for good you know raising money for charity or you know raising money for yourself you know you have to feed yourself as well but let's feed other people um 
but that's that and then moving on to the legality side of these boxes Philadelphia if you live there by any chance I had looked up Philadelphia for these boxes you have to pay like $75 fee for a license and you have to submit it and you might not get approved so if you're in Philly don't use these boxes they take them very seriously and you have to pay a crazy amount of money every year not worth it at that point you might make money still but totally not worth it um, some other states just google your state your county and type honor boxes or type charity boxes or anything you know box displays honor box displays you know vending certain products because some products in some states you have to pay tax on your lollipops so these are a lot of things where it's not as simple as just placing a block a box um and i think a lot of people make it out to be like oh yeah buy a box and just go out and make some money no because honestly in some of these states they take these boxes pretty serious i saw the philadelphia one i was like that's crazy that they regulate it that much um but obviously the government wants their hand in their pocket if you're making money they want to make money so yeah those that's the legality not super informed here for you but there's definitely some legality with it. Make sure you do your due diligence before starting any single business, but you can go down on the link below. This is a shameless plug for me. I started this thing called a starter pack on vending business solutions, uh, which is a company that I own and I do work with. So I'm just letting that known to the public here. Um, I sell these boxes, but I'm selling a starter pack, which you get one box, my book, a flyer and a 33 minute course. It came out to 33 minutes. And honestly, you get contact with me, you get my personal email. So if you wanna talk about anything vending related or Autobox related, you kind of have my personal sell. So we could talk. Um, you can check that out in the link below. Not for everyone and I'm not saying go buy it. Definitely try not to be a scam artist here. I think it's pretty reasonable value for what it is. But that's a little bit about honor boxes. And for anyone who doesn't know honor boxes, that was what this video is about. Also, and let's go uh, check upstairs here. We're gonna do a giveaway. Give away one of these books. Um, yeah, comment down below, same as the last video. Um, comment down below if you want this book, if you haven't gotten the uh, last video. And even on this video, I'm also going to open up about the free book. So I'm gonna randomly pick, I'm going through my YouTube analytics right now. I'm gonna randomly pick um, someone to win. Let me place this camera down and we'll get started on that. All right, so giving away another book. But before we do that, let's pick the uh, winner for the last book. We're gonna go on here. I'm on my analytics and I'm just gonna, and the first one that pops up on the top, that's who's gonna get it. So let's see. Ninja Bieber, whoever you are, you won the book. So I'll make sure to put your name and you'll see that you won this book. Get in contact with me, on Facebook, Instagram. You'll see where that is in the description. But Ninja Bieber won the first book. Now let's go on to give the second book out. I, I do have a bunch of them, so I'm just gonna give them away. Um, comment down below, like the video, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Come back on this channel for more information about the vending business. Hopefully I could teach you a little bit about honor boxes and you know, hopefully you win a book. But thank you so much for watching this video. Come back to this channel for more passive income ideas or way to make money pretty quickly. Check the links in the description to help support this channel and grow this channel with me. And we all grow together. We are one vending machine or honor box away from changing the entire direction of our lives. All right.